Question number five asks us to find the net torque on this cylinder, which has four different forces acting on it. Uh, you can see that I've actually labeled them because it's hard to uh, talk about them if we don't label them. So this is force one, force two, force three, and force four. In order to figure out the net torque class, what handy tool do we need to use? The, the right hand, hand rule. A class, what is step one of the right hand rule? Don't, don't be, be too, too cool, cool for, for the right, right hand, hand rule. rule. That's right, step number one. Don't be too cool for the right hand rule. And class step number two? Find, find your right hand. hand. That's right, find your right hand. There's a reason it's called the right hand rule. Step number three, limber up. That's right, you gotta limber up in order to not be too cool. You gotta be able to move your shoulders. You don't wanna look like this because when you look like this, you are too cool for the right hand rule. You have to move the shoulders. Limber. So we're gonna use the right hand rule to figure out the directions of our four torques. We start with our fingers at the axis of rotation for number one. We point our fingers along the lever arm and then we curl our fingers in the direction of the force. Our thumb points out of the board, which is positive. For the torque due to force two, again, we start at the axis of rotation. We point our fingers along the lever arm. We curl our fingers along the force and our thumb points into the board, which is negative. For the torque due to force three and force four, are, we're gonna do the right hand rule the exact same way. You start at the axis of rotation. You point your fingers along the lever arm. You curl your fingers in the direction of the force. Again, three and four are the same. And our thumb points out of the board, which again is positive. The equation for torque is RF sine theta, the lever arm times the force times the sine of the angle between the two. So we substitute the equation in for each of our four torques and please notice that all of the angles are 90 degrees and therefore the sine of 90 degrees is one and they will all cancel out. And now let's substitute in our values. The lever arm for force one is three times the radius and the force is F. The lever arm for force two is also three times the radius, but the force is two times F. The lever arm for three is two times the radius and the force is F. The lever arm for four is three times the radius and the force is F. You can see that the radius times the force is common throughout, so we can pull that out and we get R times F is equal to the quantity three minus six plus two plus three, which works out to be two times the radius times the force. Correct answer is C.